uh, Charlie Forbes. Uh, Charlie's uh, been racing pigeons for around about 35 odd years and um, he races with the Salisbury Club in the South Australian Home Pigeon Association. Uh, and particularly the last five years he's been very successful uh, being in the, uh, top, in the top ten flyers in the association. Charlie, how did you first become interested in pigeons? Well, Peter Malay started me off. My mother lived in the same street as him and uh, I used to see his birds flying around and I'd go down there and yep. pester him and that and uh, end up he uh, gave me, um, I was about 12 years old then I suppose, he gave me a few birds and put a little lock and um, I started flying pigeons in the Woodville Junior Club. Oh, right. And yes. uh, yeah, then he, um, he put me onto a chap called Doug Pickering uh, who was a we used to work for Golden Fleece at the time and uh, he was busy, he's a traveller, and so I used to go around and look after his pigeons and that, and then I flew with him and uh, that's how it all started, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Charlie, what have you done uh, in particular the last five years to attribute your success? Well, I've, um, I've always had the Goodyear pigeons and uh, I've bought some imports. Um, I bought Jansons, um, the smallest Jansons, and then uh, I bought some uh, bush arts from Lindsay Smith and put them into the birds and um, they've really taken off. And oh, uh, most of the best placings and uh, association winners and that have all had the cost of They uh, all had the, the good prior blood in them, but they've also had the imported blood in them as well. They're a bit more speed. Yeah, a bit more yeah. speed, yeah. So uh, I, I think that's probably uh, plus a lot of hard tossing. I, I toss yeah. fairly hard in that. So. Um, I would say that's the main reason. Yep. Yeah. What type of work and feeding do you give your birds prior to the start of the racing season? Well, I how many to how many tosses, for instance, would you give them before the start? Before the first race? Yeah. Uh, I'd like to get them up to um, at least Wakefield distance, mm. maybe two or three Wakefields, um, but build up to that. Um, so they'd probably have um, seven or eight to ten tosses before before they get a race. Right. And how yeah. how far would Wakefield be from here? Ah. Uh, 70 cows, 70, 75 yep. cows, yep. I suppose. And do you um, change the feeding at all? Um, I feed light in the morning, um, barley, peas and wheat. Um, <clears throat> the night feed, they get uh, corn, small seeds. Um, what do you look for, Charlie, in uh, a pigeon prior to basketing, you know, its fitness? Well, I like it to be nice and buoyant, mm -hmm. um, have a nice clean keel, um, nice wattle, you know, nice and white. Um, Charlie, is there anything you would do different um, for the longer races, uh, whether training or feeding? Well, um, I feed more carbohydrates for the longer races, um, and just just for tossing mainly is what um, I, I toss anyway. Yeah. Uh, uh, and would you send the bird back, uh, you know, from the previous week to a race? I have done. Yeah. What would be your favourite distance, Charlie, in racing? Would it be middle, short, long? Long distance. Long yeah, distance. Yeah, yeah, middle to long. But mainly the long distance races. On, on the day or uh, two day races? I, I like them to try and do it on the day because that's what you're training for. Yeah. And uh, but um, the long race, but we, we seem to, to be um, going more to the middle distance, don't okay. we? Yeah. Charlie, do you think the imported birds uh, in Australia can do the long distance as good as the uh, our, our breeds or our lines of uh, birds? Well, well. Uh, as I said, I've got um, imported pigeons in mind, and they've all flown the, the long races. But I tend, I tend to think with the Jansons, um, they just about stop at little distance. Little distance. Yeah, yeah. You, don't, you, don't, you don't get. I haven't heard of a lot of um, Jansons flying the big long races and, mm. and being very successful. So uh, I'd say to answer that, probably not. Mm. Yeah. Charlie, what's your opinion on eyesight? Do you believe in it or not? Well, um, it's not the be all, be all and end all of a pigeon. Uh, I, like to, I like to see a pigeon with a nice eye, but I don't uh, kill pigeons because they haven't got a nice eye. Mm. Um, I let them do that on the racetrack, and uh, I've had good pigeons that people have said haven't got any eyes on at all. So, in mm, answer that, no, I don't believe, I don't take a lot of uh, notice of it. Mm. Charlie, have you got any theories in uh, racing, whether it's uh, the throat, um, wing theory, anything like that, or do you believe in the foot theory? First feet on the landing board. <laughs> yeah, that, that's about what I believe in. The uh, first pigeon through those traps on race day, irrespective of what their wing is, their eye is, and that. Um, I think as long as the pigeon's fit and healthy and it's looked after well, um, that's what I look for. Mm -hmm. Can we have a look at uh, some of your key stock birds now? Yeah, certainly. Yeah, not a problem. Um, 
Oh, she's a push hard head. She's from Alice Springs a couple of years ago at Lindsay Cook. Um, that young, that cop there, he's, um, his father is um, uh, down off lot 53. And um, he's got uh, Boss of Bell in him as well. Um, Tied in at the back of that sunline, she's the best pigeon I've got. She, uh, she was um, 8th Ningen, 11th Midiamo. She's, um, um, she's a dam of me, a little Topo Associate winner. And um, she's been a fantastic, she's won about five races. Um, she was group, club and group bird of the year last year. The, the black pied hen in box 21, um, I bought her, bought her key. Sagas sale. I think I've had about eight hundred dollars for her, and she's uh, got all lot uh, fifty three and sixty in her, and uh, she's a lovely hen. And uh, she's made the best part of the bird of year, the black fly cock up the top. He's, uh, he's a good thing. He, he's very similar to her. So I made them that way to get back to that that bloodline. He's molting fairly heavily at the moment. He's got a fair bit of experience. I have a lot of the time we've taken photos of him. This guy comes from Steve Lucas, he's a strong dancer, uh, or Van Loon actually, and uh, he's, a, he's a lovely pop. He's a very strong pigeon.